Now it's time for your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, February 26, 2013. I'm Russ Belville. Spokane halts medical marijuana businesses fearing recreational loophole. The Spokane City Council passed a moratorium Monday on any new medical marijuana businesses in the city. Currently, about a dozen facilities are operating in the area. State laws on the operation of dispensaries are not clear, with the Department of Health saying they aren't legal, but a recent appeals court ruling seeming to say they are. The moratorium was not part of the public agenda for the council meeting. The council explained the agenda was kept secret to prevent a rush to form new marijuana businesses before the enactment of the moratorium. Council member John Snyder explained, quote, we need a time out, end quote, in order to see how the rules for recreational marijuana will be implemented. Then the city of Spokane can implement rules that apply to both recreational and medical marijuana outlets so entrepreneurs do not use the guise of medical use to gain advantages or utilize loopholes not available to recreational businesses. Lax standards for Washington medical marijuana cited by two doctors. Como News in Seattle is reporting on the statements of two medical professionals who liken their experiences at a Washington medical marijuana cl clinic as a, quote, marijuana mill and a cattle call, end quote. One, a naturopath, complained of seeing 30 or more patients per day, with her compensation directly tied to the number of patients she saw that day. The other, a registered nurse practitioner, complained that the clinic's businesses were all money-driven. Reporter Matt Markovich verified that it was easy for him to acquire a medical marijuana recommendation at South Sound Medicine, where both the women had worked. He notes that the recreational users of marijuana are only allowed one ounce of pot and places to acquire it do not exist yet. However, medical users can possess up to 24 ounces and can acquire marijuana at many pseudo-legal dispensaries in the Seattle area. In previous reports, Markovich has shown how lax the oversight over medical marijuana recommendations can be. At one Tacoma clinic known for issuing cannabis recommendations with no appointment, he reports that he sat in a packed waiting room and filled out a questionnaire saying he had an occasional headache. Before he saw a doctor, he paid $139. In another room, expecting a regular doctor, instead found a state-licensed advanced registered nurse practitioner Skyping in from Hawaii. He told the doctor from Hawaii he suffered occasional headaches and had no medical records to back up the claim. The Skype visit lasted three minutes, and he walked out with a recommendation saying, I have di diagnosed this patient as having a terminal or debilitating condition. Oklahoma Senate Committee Rejects Medical Marijuana in First Ever Hearing An Oklahoma Senate Committee has rejected a medical marijuana bill in the first ever hearing held on the issue in Oklahoma. The 6-2 vote was split along party lines, with the Republicans defeating the proposal. However, the senator who introduced the bill is proclaiming a victory of sorts. Senator Constance Johnson, a Democrat from Oklahoma City, said, quote, I consider it a victory for the citizens of this state, end quote. She has introduced several bills over the last six years to allow for the medical use of marijuana or to ease penalties for possession of the drug. She continued, quote, I think it's a step in the right direction in terms of moving it forward and getting some indication of what people's reservations are so we'll know what to address, end quote. The Oklahoma Senate rules prevent Senator Johnson from reintroducing a medical marijuana measure for two years. Chairman Senator Brian Crane says he opposed the measure, but finally permitted it a hearing because of Senator Johnson's persistence. Senators who opposed the measure worried that recreational marijuana smokers would take advantage of the medical use law. Forbes magazine warns employers about marijuana and employment law. Forbes magazine notes that as majorities continue to support changes in marijuana law, employers must confront the fact their so-called drug-free workplace may need to be modified to accord with the new state law. In California, Colorado, Michigan, Montana, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington, businesses need not currently in accommodate employees who legally use marijuana for medicinal purposes. Washington statute, for example, says that employers may establish drug-free work policies and nothing requires to accommodate the medical use of marijuana. Marijuana use laws in Arizona, Connecticut, Delaware, Maine, and Rhode Island expressly forbid businesses from refusing to hire applicants and from disciplining and otherwise adversely affecting the employment of registered medical marijuana cardholders based solely on that status. For more information, check out RadicalRust.com. That's your 420 Radio News for Tuesday, February 26, 2013. 
I'm Russ Belville. When we come back, we go behind the headlines for the raid of Kathy Jordan, the medical marijuana patient in Florida, on the same day a poll comes out showing 70% support for the bill named after her. We've got updates on that story and video for you next in Behind the Headlines.